So every time we burn a fossil fuel, it makes CO2. Well, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is captured through photosynthesis. It goes into plants, into carbohydrates. We take the carbohydrates and we ferment them. We genetically engineered yeast so that the yeast produced this chemical called isobutanol. I can take that isobutanol and do chemistry with it to make it into jet fuel, recycling carbon. 100% renewable resource-based replacement for fossil-based jet fuel, and yet it is still kerosene. That meets all the specifications that are needed to work with all engines and all infrastructure. And this would be a solution for greenhouse gases and the pollutants that come with the fossil-based fuel products. It doesn't have the particulates. It doesn't have the sulfur and nitrogen impurities that are typical with a fossil-based product. We have farmers who are very forward in their thinking. They recognize with their strip tilling or no-till farming, they're building up soil carbon each year, taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. What we need to do is work with farmers to leverage that system, because it's probably the biggest system we have of all that can help to solve a greenhouse gas problem. And you know what? We can also do it and generate enormous quantities of protein along the way for the food chain. We would get about 10 pounds of protein per gallon of jet fuel. It's no longer food or fuel. It's food and fuel. So it really is cleaner and greener, and yet making a jet fuel that works like any other jet fuel that works in all the infrastructure, that's a big deal. 15 years ago, we couldn't have done it. The technology didn't exist. Now it does exist. We've proven it, it works.